In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate a simple way to wire wrap stones of any shape. For this video, we will be concentrating on securing the stone, and then, in the next video, we will go on to turning your basic wraps into beautiful pendants. I will be using dead soft bare copper wire 0.8mm or 20 gauge and 0.2mm or 32 gauge. Flush cutters, masking tape and optional pliers if you do not wish to ruin your nails. I am going to start off easy with stones that are more flat in shape. I will demonstrate on this flat piece of blue tiger's eye. First, study your stone and decide where you will be weaving the base wires together. I have chosen to weave at the points of the stone and at the top. I will be using three neat 0.8mm wires. These are to be our base wires and weaving with the 0.2mm wire. I am using a very basic 2-2 zigzag weave. I start by wrapping a couple of times around one wire, then placing another wire below the first and wrapping twice around both wires and coming up between the two. I then add the third wire above the other two and wrap twice around the two top wires. Repeat the 2-2 weave a couple more times and finish by wrapping a couple of times around the mid -wi middle wire and snip off the excess. I am now roughly gauging where to place the next wraps. You do not need to be too precise as you can gently manoeuvre the wraps or pull down the wire if it is in slightly the wrong position. I am continuing with the same 2-2 zigzag weave. I'm starting to mould the wires around the shape of the stone. I am using a 2-2 weave, but you can use whatever weave you wish.
I am weaving the wires together at the top of the stone on both sides. I am using masking tape to help keep the wires and stone in position. Separate the two middle wires and cross over at the top and then wrap both around all the wires to secure. Gently manoeuvre the front and back wires to trap the stone. Alternately, you can use another piece of 0.8mm wire to secure the wires. This is useful if you plan to make a more complex piece and need all six wires in your design.
Next, we will be using slightly more difficult shaped stones. I will be demonstrating with this irregular angel aura quartz. These stones have flat backs and more bulk in the front. This time I will be using four base wires. I have already set my weaves, still using a simple zigzag weave, but this time two, two, two. As before, I am moulding my wires around the shape of the stone. This time I am separating the second to last wires and crossing them over at the top and wrapping around all the wires to secure. To work out which wire to use as the securing wire, we choose the wire that we will not be moving to secure the stone. I am now manipulating the bottom wire to hold the stone at the back. Now we are going to manoeuvre the top two wires to hold the bulky part of the stone at the top. Keep manipulating the wires until your stone is fully secure. Now we are going to move on to stones that have deeper edges and a bulky top and bottom and also even more irregular in shape. This angel aura quartz is almost spherical and I have chosen to only use weaves at the bottom and top to almost cage the stone. I will be demonstrating with this oddly shaped black tourmaline. As this stone is very irregular, I am first deciding which direction the stone should be wrapped and where will be the in the front. This time I am using five base wires.
I have already set my first three weaves and I am now shaping my wires around the stone and adjusting my weaves into the correct position. I am now weaving my wires together at the top using the same zigzag weave or whichever weave you prefer to use.
The securing wires will be the middle wires, as we will not be needing to manipulate them to secure the stone. We separate the middle wires, cross over at the top and wrap them around the, uh, the other wires. This time I am leaving the masking tape on as I start to manipulate the wires to help keep it, keep it in place. Maneuver the bottom two wires to secure the back of the stone and use the top two wires to secure the, uh, to secure the top. Continue manipulating the wires until the stone is secure. Here we have a selection of various shaped stones that I have wrapped using the same technique but with seven wires. For a different look on this stone, I have wrapped all the wires together at the top and bottom, but in the middle only wrapped the middle three. Using this technique, you can now easily wrap, wrap heart-shaped stones. even large puffy ones. And spheres will also no longer be a problem.
Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and join me for part two.